Hello friends, in this session we'll go over all the possible ways of starting a BPD or a process. Earlier it was known as a BPD but now the name has been changed to process in the versions 8.6 onwards. So the first method to launch a BPD or invoke a BPD is the standard method which is using the UCA to start a BPD. To be able to uh, have a UCA to start a BPD, we need to define a start message event for the BPD and attach a UCA to it. If you go to the implementation of the UCA, the UCA can have a variable implementation or a service implementation. In, a, in case of a service implementation, you need to create the variables which have to be passed to the BPD and transfer the values within the service from the input variables to the output variables so that the passed in data makes all the way through to the process. In terms of a launching service, so you can launch it from a human service or from a regular service by connecting a send message event item and the send message event item will be connected to the same UCA which has been connected to the process start message event. And you need to specify the data mappings also like what data you are going to pass it. For example, we want to pass in one and two for the two input variables. So let's run it and see whether it makes all the way through and launches the process or not. So we executed it, the service completed. And if we go to the inspector and refresh, we will see a new instance of launch me and the data is transferred over here. The next method we will be talking about is using JS API to start a BPD. The main difference between using a UCA and a JS API is at times we need the process instance ID to be available back to our calling system. In case of a JS API, you will get the instance ID back after the invocation, but in case of a UCA start, you, there is no way to get the instance ID in the calling process. So let's take a look at the JS API way to start a process. For that, you do not need a start message event. A regular start event can be utilized. Launching process by API. So we have a script syntax wherein we create a map object and we put in all the input values into the map object and then we use the start process by name and the name of the BPD or the process to be launched and we supply the input variables and this invokes the process passing in all the inputs. You can pass in complex in variables also into it. Uh, not only simple string and number kind of variables. So let's run it and see whether it makes it to the instance or not. Going back to our inspector, we should have a new instance here. Yes, so we have the new instance created here. Next method of invoking a process is the REST API method. You can go to the REST API console and construct a message in this particular syntax where you have the process short name, the UCA name, the parameters listed out, all the parameters listed out here. And if you pass in this to a REST API invocation, either through a REST API client or through the REST API tester, you will be able to pass in all the input parameters and invoke the instance for that particular process. So if we execute it, we get a status 200 OK. And if we go back to our process inspector, we should have a third instance here. 
the third instance is created. Next method we, we can take a look at is using the portal to start the PPD. Uh, port, when you use the portal to start the BPD, you have to expose the BPD to a certain group of users who will be seeing the link to launch the BPD. You cannot pass in any input variables. This is useful in scenarios where you're starting a process from scratch and no input variables are needed. So if you click on launch me, work has started and if we go back to our process inspector we should see a fourth instance here yes it is there there are two additional ways of starting a process one is jms so you can use a java jms client and construct the same message which we use in the rest api call and pass it directly to the event manager and that will create an instance for the process. It is also useful in scenarios where you are connecting messaging clients to the event manager. A lesser known method is a web API method. So if uh, you are familiar with the older versions of IBM BPM basically starting from Teamwork 6.x onwards, there has been a web API. Web API is nothing but a web service exposure of a lot of functionalities within the IBM BPM environment. If you search for web API, you can find out the endpoint URLs which are available and starting a process is one of the methods of the endpoints in the web api so that's all the six methods of invoking a process earlier known as a bpd within ibm bpm 8.6 onwards thank you